Welcome to part four of Building Our Family Home. We are finishing up trimming our house. We are packing up our current house that we're living in and we have paint and we can't wait to show you. It's actually, we took a little break from house projects and from packing and we went on vacation. Now we are home, ready to start really getting down to business and finishing up the house and finishing packing. Basically, we have three weeks left until we move in. We have a renter for our this house that we're currently living in and I have packed up almost all the decor that has been on the walls of the house. I packed up a lot of this stuff that was in mine and Connor's bathroom. I even started working on the kitchen. We got paper plates and bowls to start using. We're just trying to get ahead of the game since we have two kids and it's hard to get anything done with um, children. <laughs> I did go thrifting while I was out of town. Got several cute vintage things for the house and for the kids' rooms. 
So I'll just show you what I got. I got this cute little vintage rocker that had a little rattan back on it. I thought this was so cute, maybe for like a little doll for Roy's room. I got this little hourglass that spins, maybe for the shelving candlestick that was like this amber glass color. I thought this would be cute to hold like a little candlestick in. I got a couple of these old school books that I found. Um, these will probably go on the built-ins in the living room as well. So in our kitchen, we're gonna have a glass cabinet. And I decided to get this cute teapot just to add some earthy kind of tone, like color because my kitchen's gonna be mostly white. So I've been on the hunt for some vintage brass pools. I found these. I don't think I love them though. So I'm probably gonna keep looking. I have you guys set up on this little shelf that I found for Rory's room. I'm probably gonna put some cute little baby decorations on here, maybe a couple little kids books or something and put this in her room. I have lots of fun projects for when we move in. Um, we're basically just gonna get the house um, looking as best as we can, move in ready type, and work on like the pretty decorations and wallpaper and fancy things for the walls and um, making the kids' rooms look super good and the, working on the playroom, the master bedroom. I just have lots of fun ideas um, that we're gonna do once we get into the house, so I'm really excited for those things. Um, that's kind of why I've been picking up some fun things around thrift stores and stuff like that. So, But today I'm gonna be doing um, some packing, hopefully. So I'm excited. We'll probably show you the house again at the end of this video. They have been painting the house. Uh, so that's been going on. I am very, very excited for the paint because once that's finished, everything else can start getting put in. And so we are very, very close and I'm very excited. Okay, so I'm in the house right now. Y'all, my outfit is laughable because we live down the street and I just wanted to come check out everything. But I think we're finished painting for the most part. Um, let me take you in here to the bathroom. So here's a little sneak peek of the bathroom. Look at this. So we did um, green. This is, I, it's hard to tell on camera, but we did green cabinets here in our bath, in our master bath. Um, I can link the color right here for you guys. It is Sherwin Williams. And then our little linen cabinet in this pooper room is also green, which it wasn't supposed to be green, but we actually like it better this way. Um, so it looks good. We like it. And then in here in the living room, they stained this cedar board, I think it's cedar, uh, mantle. So it kind of looks rough right now. I think they'll probably come back and fix it. This also is supposed to be all this black color. It's called Iron Ore by Sherwin-Williams. I'll put it right here for you guys. But the back of this is also, it's supposed to look like built-ins even though it's not technically built-ins. Um, so like the back of the wall is also gonna be black as well but that looks really, really good. So it's hard to tell on camera, but these are like, just like an off-white. Oh, it's beautiful, it looks so good. It's actually easier to tell on camera the difference between the whites, um, but it looks so good. Oh, I just noticed this. That looks really good. That looks so good with that stain. Oh my goodness, I love that. And then our island is under all of this, but it's also black. It's the same color as these built-ins. Oh man, look at that, it looks so good. Nice, I'm very excited y'all, it looks really good. I think all of these are painted as well, so those look super good, it's hard to tell because it's just like white, but yeah, it's just different, it's just a different white. I'll put the link to the color, or I'll put the color right here on the camera. It's also Sherwin-Williams. You can also color match 
anywhere. All right, and it's gonna be probably a little bit hard to tell in here because it's really dark, but this is the same color that's in the kitchen. Um, and yeah, same color that is in, oh, the camera brightens up things a lot, but this is the same color that's on the kitchen cabinets as well. That looks very good. We wanted this bathroom to be pretty light because there's no windows. All right, so in here we have the mudroom bench. It's the same green color that is in the bathroom. Um, this is just some beadboard that we put up. That's in some previous videos. Um, we're gonna probably put some hooks here for jackets and stuff like that. Um, and then we also have this green color in the laundry room. It's very dark in here, so it's hard to tell. That also was not supposed to be green, but we ended up liking it better, so we're keeping it that way. But it looks really good. We're really excited. We are in the final stretch. We've got three more weeks left. I am going to end this video here. We have lots of more exciting things. There may only be one or two more videos left before we move, um, officially move in. And I can't wait to do like a little move-in video. Maybe, hopefully if I can. We're also thinking about doing a like empty house photo shoot. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those done or like even know what I'm talking about, but basically you just have a mostly empty house and you do a little photo shoot in there for like your first home that you've built. And they're, they turn out really cute. And I'm thinking about doing that. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea because I think it would be super fun. Oh. Also forgot to show you. This has also been stained. Looks very good, very dark wood. Um, the floors are gonna be uh, lighter wood, so it's gonna contrast with these darker stained woods. It's gonna look really good. So yeah, now that I've made you guys sufficiently dizzy, I'm gonna call it a video and say goodbye. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Be quieter, please. You're making so much noise, I'm sure. You're so loud. Yeah. So cute. Is this gonna be so cute in our kitchen? Can you say teapot? Teapot. Yeah, it's super cute teapot for the kitchen.